Good morning and welcome to The Bottom Line with Surjit Bhalla here on NDTV Profit. It's a Friday and, uh, you know, we're going to take stock on this edition of The Bottom Line of what's going on globally and what's happening in our markets and in global equity markets as well. Good morning, Surjit. Good morning. Happy Friday, I hope. Uh, happy Friday. I always love Fridays. <laughs> But uh, let's start with the news flow that we've got this Friday morning, uh, in a sense, fresh off the press. First off, uh, Surjit, is, you know, the continuing uh, permutations and combinations of who will come potentially to the rescue of the Eurozone should the crisis escalate, and the influence of the BRICS nations like Brazil, China, and perhaps India as well. Yeah. Now, you know, the route that they seem to be taking is G20 backing, led by Brazil, China, for increased lending powers or lending resources to the IMF. Uh, that's a new development. It's not confirmed yet, but it's doing the rounds in terms of yeah. thinking. Yeah. Um, while I speak, actually, there are some audio problems, but I, I think I got the gist of your uh, question. Um, yeah, no, no. We had talked about the BRICS, remember about 10 days ago, two weeks ago, about the BRICS bailing out uh, the Europeans, bailing out the banks, bailing out the debt crisis there. And I think at that time, a lot of people poo-pooed the idea. Uh, we were not one of them. And what it turning out to be is that this idea has been taken a significant step forward. And the action behind the scenes is as follows, that what is likely to happen and what they are discussing is that the central banks, the BRICS, and other central banks like Korea, etc., which have stacks of uh, reserves, buy IMF bonds. Now, whether they are in a special purpose vehicle or IMF itself doesn't really matter. If they buy the IMF bonds, they are contributing to capital of the IMF, which is the IMF is then authorized to lend to governments. Remember, IMF does not lend uh, to, uh, to uh, individual banks or the private sector. It lends to governments. So the IMF was most likely lend the funds to ECB. ECB will then lend the funds to the banks in order for them to recapitalize. So in other words, what you're doing is making the capital available for very little risk to the developing countries, um, for very little risk to the developing countries. They contribute the capital. Capital gets to where it is needed from the people who have the capital to the, cap to the people who need the capital. I think it's a very effective uh, help towards a solution to this crisis, and I wouldn't discount its, likely, its likelihood. Okay. You know, I mean, I guess it's very hard to talk about numbers, but what we know is that uh, Christine Lagarde last month said the IMF has a $390 billion war chest. Can you hear me uh, clearly, Surjit, or is that audio problem still persisting? Well, the, the, uh, the war chest that the IMF has is too little for the problem. You know, in this regard, there's also uh, an article or an interview that Trichet gave uh, to um, uh, the Financial Times in which he said that this crisis was the greatest crisis and basically stating quite explicitly that he thought 2011 debt crisis of Europe was much bigger than the 2008 Lehman crisis, which as you know engulfed the world, including ourselves. And so the, what the IMF, IMF was constructed back in 1945 with the idea of being a minor player. Now it has been catapulted into the major ranks of actors and uh, the resources that it has are very little. And the, who has the resources? It is the, the U.S. doesn't have the resources. Uh, Europe has some resources, but not on an aggregate basis. Some countries have resources like Germany, etc. Some other countries like Greece, Italy, uh, Spain, Portugal do not have net resources. So the only people, you know, it is a real transformation of the world that the countries that have um, resources are the formerly poor countries of the world. Uh, the BRICS and, you know, exclude Russia and add South Africa, add Korea, add Taiwan, add Singapore, add Malaysia. These are the countries with a lot of resources. And it's only fair, okay. in my view, and it's only proper that they come in to act. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone.
fastest scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.